Welcome all guests, the representatives of Consular Corps, the United Nations, representatives of UNICEF, 92nd White Street, Jewish organization, but also scientists from Tel Aviv University, Columbia University, and the City University of New York, and many more joined by a common interest in Janusz Korczak and children's rights. Among us are also Holocaust survivors, distinguished guests. I'd like to welcome Mr. Samuel Pizar, and congratulations, because I learned that a few days ago you were honored with the Legion of Donner. Congratulations. Uh, dear friends, distinguished guests, this year, 2012, is marked by the 70th anniversary of Janusz Korczak's death in the Treblinka concentration camp, together with his children and colleagues working in the Warsaw Orphanage and the 100th anniversary of the founding by the old doctor, as we used to call him, of his orphanage on Warsaw's Krochmalna Street. But our message and our aim was to focus not on his death as a matter, but to focus on his work, of focus on his concept of a child as a human being, on his outstanding methods allowing a child to make mistakes, to make decisions, to have right to privacy and right to be yourself, not just a less perfect miniature of an adult. When looking at Korczak life, what strikes us first is the great coherence between his words and his deeds. Consistency between our declaration, our views on one side and our life on the other has always been something vital and required, especially from people of high public esteem and confidence professionals. We expect from doctors, educators, judges, judges extreme honesty and fairness. We believe they cannot act in a different way than they declare. One can say it is not as easy, but life of Janusz Korczak shows it is possible. I believe that our meeting today in New York is important. As long as people like you gather to reflect on the message and words of the author of the King Maciuś I, on, and to discuss how to apply his theories and his teaching only for one reason, to make the world a place when the children will be loved and respected. Dear friends, distinguished guests, I have a great pleasure to introduce of our guests and distinguished panelists. Mr. Thomas Hammenberg, honorary patron of the Jan Korczak, Janusz Korczak year, former Council of Europe Commissioner for Human Rights. Welcome. Mr. Witold Sopkow, Ambassador, Head of the Permanent Mission of the Republic of Poland to the United Nations. <laughs> Dr. Natalia Aleksion, Institute of History, Polish Academy of Science in Warsaw, and Pil Resnik, Postdoctoral Fellow in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Dr. Olga Milvidieva Natu, the Janusz Korczak Association of Canada. Mariola Strachelberg, founder of the Shining Mountain Center for Peaceful Childhood and the chair of the Janusz Korczak Association of the United States. <laughs> and now, dear friends, it is my pleasure to ask Excellencies Viktor Sopkov for the opening remarks. Thank you. and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests. Uh, let me start by saying um, that I find a little bit peculiar that a stage in human development, that of childhood, was just discovered in the 18th century, and yet it took mankind another century 
to notice the status of children, that they need protection of the state, that the state should ensure necessary conditions for children to develop in a proper way, that children uh, should be um, a matter of our interest, of, of, of all of us, because they are vulnerable. It was on the 26th of November 1924 when in Geneva uh, the League of Nations General Assembly endorsed for the first time ever the World Child Welfare Charter. And I must tell you that the original uh, in the archives in Geneva carries Janusz Korczak's signature. I believe that uh, this seminar uh, will be a good occasion for all of us to further discuss the work of Janusz Korczak and his incredible pedagogic mind and his sensitivity that created a foundation for some crucial international regulations to protect children. Today, the concept of child protection is different than a century ago. We acknowledge the individual rights of children, we discover the ways to protect those rights and to execute them. So, we even if we have this progress, there are still challenges in front of us, and then this could be also a matter of our discussions here. In this context, uh, I want to welcome you here to participate in the discussions devoted to the international regulations on the protection of children's rights. On the other hand, uh, on the new ideas and tools to educate uh, children, this is, this is also a subject that uh, should interest all of us, how to uh, how to invent new ideas and, and new tools to educate children. But we will also touch upon the issue of trafficking in children and sexual exploitation, something that, uh, for example, the United Nations uh, organization attaches much importance to. Our distinguished uh, panelists uh, will today discuss the past and current approaches to all the issues. So I look forward to the interesting discussions that we will have here. Thank you. Thank you again for the honor of being here and uh, for uh, organizing this uh, workshop. And I would like to ask uh, Thomas Hammenberg to be our first speaker. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, my thanks go to the Polish Parliament, who had the wisdom to decide that this year will be a year to commemorate the message of Janusz Korczak. And this is not, this is a first conference or seminar of that kind, but there will be several others in other parts of the world, and of course, quite a number of them in Europe. I think this is absolutely timely and so very important. Uh, I uh, was uh, involved in the drafting of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, now more than 20 years ago. And it was so clear that the thinking of Janusz Korczak influenced the formulation of this, this convention. And it's, of course, one reason why this convention has been so absolutely important. And it's one of the few international treaties on human rights which really have had an impact on reality and given, given an instrument to people who care for and work for the rights of children, um, an instrument which has actually changed legislation and the monitoring of the implementation of the legislation, but also the daily life in institutions where children live, in the settlements where they are, uh, and of course uh, one, one result has been the creation of a number of ombudsman offices for the rights of the child. And we have one previous ombudsman from Poland here with us today who could testify to the importance of the convention when it comes to implementing the rights of the child. If I may say one more thing also, I think it's uh, quite relevant that the first seminar in the series of Janusz Korczak seminars this year will be held in New York also in a country which unfortunately so far has not managed to ratify the Convention on the Rights of the Child. 
I said that Janusz Kolczak really influenced the work on the convention. I was involved in the drafting and I was also a member of the committee which set up, uh, which was set up as a consequence of the adoption of this convention and sat there for six years. And many of the thoughts that Kolczak had written about came through in the discussions and we often quoted him in our deliberations. So that, that's something that we have to remember now. I think for the moment, the key challenge is to secure that the next generation also is uh, informed about not only the life of Korczak and the tragic death, but also what he actually said and what he stood for and the kind of spirit that he introduced in the small places where he tried to promote humanity in an environment of absolute hostility and hatred that uh, was the case, of course, in Warsaw during those years. The second 